Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Sandy Bay. And no better way to start my morning than hang out here on the beach, look at the sunrise, well, whatever that is, and uh, have myself a nice breakfast sandwich. There's a little breakfast shack here on the beach, which I've found quite handy, run by uh, Landy. Hey, how you doing, Landy kid? Hey, what's up? Ah, you know, and just enjoying my days here. It's nice, uh, nice meeting the locals. There's, uh, it's kind of quiet here in Sandy Bay. Where did everybody go? Well, they went over to that place called West Coast. Uh, that's how it goes, I guess. Yeah. Hey, listen, I got another problem, too. Uh, well, a problem. I'm, uh, I'm going on this little expedition, and I'm looking for some gear, and I'm looking to, to build a company. But if you hear about people who might have something hidden in a barn somewhere, could you uh, let me know? Yeah, there's a... Uh, well, there is that Yank. He's he's just moved into this area. And, oh. Uh, I don't know. He's been causing some sort of ruckus. Oh, really? Okay. Um... Well, yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. If you if you can bump into him or something, I don't know if he's uh, if he's got anything in, hidden away. But uh, I'm looking for basically tractors, implements, whatever. Or even I, I'm, I'm going to need a harvester at some point too. But I think I might have a line on those. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see. He, he's a shady guy, but right. maybe have to strike something up. All right, have a good day, Landy. And delicious burgers, by the way. By the way, what, why don't you just, uh, if everybody moves to the West Coast, why not take the Burger Shack with you? Well, I, I would, but there's a really annoying guy that's got this prime location, and I don't oh. know. I, I, I may sneak something in there one day. Okay, all right. Well, you know, that's between you and him. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you uh, soon, I hope. Bye. See you later. All right, we got some more mowing to do. Let's get at it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sandy Bay. Well, we've had a few little issues along the way, but mostly it's going very well. I've still got one more field to mow and Ted. And then uh, I have one more little issue with my, uh, with my choice of tractors. Let's just say I'm having power problems. More on that later, though. We'll have to uh, come up with a solution at some point. So, I'm just going to, uh, I guess I'm just going to leave this truck right here for now. This is my mowers in over in this field now. Uh, maybe park it off to one side so the locals can sort of get around me. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be fine with that. Alright. So, yeah. So, the issue that I'm having is something about the angle of these fields. Hang on a second, let's just make close that up for ourselves. It seems that, well, the little mower here has got absolutely no problem with mowing the fields. The Valmet though? Well, the Valmet has some issues with my uphill sections. So, if it's having problems pulling a tether up these fields, and especially this section right here, where, you know, even this thing drops a little bit of speed going uphill, I don't think it's going to be able to make it with the, um, the baler. And as a matter of fact, I've got it up to the top of the, at the farm right now, because I did a little test last night. And I know for a fact it's not going to make it up that hill pulling a baler and a stacker. Because that's the other thing, too, is I've got to put a stacker on it so that I don't have to pick up individual bales. Which leads me to a whole bunch of other issues that, frankly, I don't have solutions for yet. Um, I need to pick out a set of bale forks. But I need to pick out a set of bale forks that I can actually lift the right number of bales with. Because I'm finding that uh, the Valmet, if you try to throw four bales on the front of that thing, yeah, it gets a little bit tippy. Three bales is kind of my maximum. If I'm going to load trailers, it'll be three bales maximum, and that'll have to do. And there's a lot of hay in these fields. I mean, a lot of hay. I got them all mowed. I got them all taken care of. 
But now I gotta bale all this stuff, and then I gotta load this all up and sell off the bales. Or at the very least, bring them to the farms where they're gonna be needed. So, may have bitten more than I can chew, but uh, it's not bad. It's been a couple of weeks here in, uh, on the farm, and I got everything drying out very nicely in the fields. We've got no rain until well into fall, so I'm thinking we're going to be just fine. I'm thinking that, but I've been wrong before. So, yeah, we'll have to work on that. Anyway, I'm just going to get this field here mowed for us, and I will join you back up at the farm to show you what the problem is. All right, just one more little patch at the very top here. And we are done. Uh, the mowing phase of this job. It's uh, quite interesting how uh, on the last series, because we were doing pigs, we did no mowing at all. So it's been a lot of fun getting all this stuff done and tatted. You know, it's mowing is one of those jobs in farm sim. It's uh, quite therapeutic, quite relaxing. So, nothing wrong with that. It's, uh... Oh, hang on. Telephone. Hello, Mark here. Hey, Mark. How's it going today? Oh, Ian. How you doing, buddy? What have you been doing these days? I just got a new job at John Deere here, and I heard you're looking for some new combines. You might have something that you might be interested in over here. Oh, really? Um, you know what my requirements are, eh? I'm kind of uh, broke. Uh, well, we might have something in for you. Not. We have some really nice ones, and we have some ones that might fit in more into your budget as well. Okay, cool. Um, where are you? I'm just at the John Deere at the Espat Agri in, uh, in France here. Oh, okay. So you know what? I've got the I've got some time this weekend. Let me hop across the channel and I'll come down and visit you. Sure, no problem. All right, I'll look forward to your visit. All right, see you soon. All right, see you then. All right. Well, that's interesting. Ian Robson is in France. Well, lucky for us, what's gonna work out just about perfectly because uh, he's got harvesters for us to look at. We're going to be needing that pretty darn soon. So, I'll take that off of that. And while we're here putting away this little grass harvester, I was uh, actually thinking about that, about the fact that uh, coming up is the fall, and the fall means harvest season. And if we're going to do harvesting contracts, we're going to need a harvester. But let's see, we'll see what he has in mind for us. I gotta head up to Orchard Farm anyway and go pick up the Landy. I sort of abandoned her up there. So I'll go and take advantage of that. And I'll get myself uh, across the channel and into France for a couple of days. It's gonna take a day or two for this stuff to, uh, to dry out anyway, so that'll be fine. Before we need to bale it, anyway. Whole other operations. It's amazing, eh? You just do these contracts, but uh, it's a lot of work. All right, hang on a sec here. All right. And we'll just keep going down this road here. No point in turning around at this point. Over the little bridge. These are some of the less well-known corners of the Sandy Bay map. Such a pleasure to rediscover this map and to and to farm it from this angle. 
You know, the main farm is over at the top of the hill over there, on the, where you see the, the, the church steeple. And, uh, I have to admit, the last time I was here, that's where I was working, but, uh, this is sort of a nicer little corner. Very cozy little spot. Driving this truck around all the time, though, I really miss my landy. She's exactly suited to this kind of road work. And where are they? Oops, okay, that's good. All right, let's go for it. All right, I wanted to head back up to the farm and show you guys what the problem is with the Valmet. Because that's uh, another problem we need to solve. Really, the Valmet only has about 88 horsepower, which makes it absolutely a perfect, perfect loading tractor and yard tractor and that sort of work. It's perfect for that stuff. But when it comes to the real power horse stuff, stuff like baling and and pulling plows and stuff like that, she is grossly, grossly underpowered. So I'm in the market for something new. I'm in the market for something different. And I'm going to have to make some calls and see if I can source something. And for that... I'm going to make a call to my little, my Finnish connection, Mr. Mazzoni. Mr. Mazzoni is what, he's the guy who got me in trouble with the Valmet in the first place. He's a big fan of the Finnish brands. And Valtra is certainly a Finnish tractor. But, he's mentioned before that he might have other options for me, so we'll see if that comes out okay. Hang on a second here. Let me just uh, pull this up here. I'll come back for that later. But let's go get our bailing equipment in place. And there we go. Oh, some really neat things about this tractor, by the way. The mirrors. The mirrors are excellent for head tracking anyway. So that mirror, I can actually see where I'm going. And this mirror up here gives me a perfect view of my three-point. So when I'm doing stuff like this... Let's say I want to hook up a trailer. So let's go over here. We'll need to pull out the bale stacker. And I can do it like this if I want to, which is not so bad. It gets me a really nice view. But when it comes to hooking it up, I can also just look over here, look up at the, the mirror. And that gives me a great view of where I'm at. So. Never underestimate the little mods. The little mods are the ones that blow you away. The ones that are the least used. And it's details like that that make a good mod a great mod. Things like the rear view mirrors working. It's important. Can't stress that enough. All right, we'll just leave her over here for a second. Hang on one second. Uh, that's great. And let's go get that baler. Oops. Let's stop back into our stacker, though. When we come back from France, the other thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go shopping for forks. Because there is an actual embarrassment of options when it comes to bale forks in Farm Sim 17. So many requirements and technical specs and stuff that... There you go. Back it up to the trailer. Beautiful. See that? That's pretty darn easy. So, took that up. Uh, no, never mind the PTO yet. We'll get that later. Alright. Let's go hook this up to the other thing. This is the harder part. Connecting a trailer to a trailer. Always more difficult, but it can be done with a bit of patience. Let's see here. Alright. Alright, let's see if I can actually see it back there. Where is it? Can I see it on the mirrors? Nope. Not in that one anyway. Oh, there it is. Okay, so a little bit more that way. Nope. A little bit more that way. There you go. And then you... Let's 
straighten it out a little bit. Right about there should do it. Let's just double go and check. Oh, nowhere near. Okay. Another bunch of feet. And back it up a bit more. A little bit more that way. Oh, I can sort of tell by the shadow on the ground over there that I'm close. Let's go see where we're at now. Yep, that'll do it. Just nudge it into there. Perfect. All right. And... Uh, hook up the PTO. We're good to go. So here's the problem. Um... And let's see here. Okay, unfold that. Start that up. So here's the issue. When you have this much load on, down goes the pickup, and you hit the cruise control on it, 5.3 kilometers per hour. And that's on flat ground. That does nothing in terms of being able to do this job when we're going to go up those hills. And I know that even empty, this guy doesn't do hills well. So, we're not even going to do that. We're not even gonna go there. Unhook that, unhook that, and we'll leave that there. We need another solution. We're going to need about 150 to 160 horsepower at least to be able to pull that off going up and down hills. So, we're going to take a little break here. We're going to let everything dry out for us. Um, actually, I'm going to need to go back and uh, TED that field. And when we come back from France, we need to have... We need to find ourselves a bigger tractor. Oh, slow down there, buddy. Oop, uh. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger tractor and a way of picking up those bales. So we will work on that. Let's get a PTO on. On that note, you guys have yourselves a great evening. Tomorrow we'll see you guys in France. We'll go play a little uh, combine shopping with Mr. Ian Robson. And see what we could come up with. Have a great evening. <laughs>